statistics revision. Statistics revision. <coughs> uh, the diagram, okay, uh, you can read by yourself. Type of data, box whisker, histogram, com commutative frequency, scale, skill. Uh, you can say negatively skilled or left skilled. Positively skilled or right skilled. Okay, ah. <clears throat> and mode, median, mean, that's all okay, ah. And the variance, it's okay. Hmm? Guys. I agree with this type of change. You need to double check with your teacher. For example, email or something. Because I found one in one paper, they changed the boundary to zero to 9.5. They didn't change to negative 0 0.5. Oh. I agree with this. Double check with your teacher. Okay, ah. Uh. So that's this one, ah. Uh. Okay. For the mean and the median, I always ask everybody memorize this formula. And this formula, the following formula here. For variance, one over n sum of x squared minus x bar squared. One over n sum of x i minus x bar squared. Oh, oh one over n sum of x i minus a sum of x i minus a squared. Now here, huh? yeah, today is the last lesson for this term. I, I, I'm, I was thinking about uh, like, uh, how we arrange holiday revision. Uh, but basically, you need to check past papers. If you got a question, just post to WeChat group. Okay. Uh, but if you need uh, you have more questions, maybe we can arrange like a one-to-one -one time. Uh, but, but normally, just random questions just post to WeChat group. Okay. Uh, that's for calculation mean and the variance. Uh, next part, like a probability. Probability, we have mutually exclusive. The diagram look like this. We have conditional probability. We have independent. Independent, if you really sketch the diagram, diagram just like this, huh? okay? Independent. Next one. <clears throat> Permutation combination. This case like a repeat with repetition. Okay, uh, eh, sometimes together, sometimes separate. It's like basic cases. Uh, uh, for distribution, we know all probability positive add up to one. Okay, uh, and you have binomial, binomial formula here, and you need to memorize this, this four conditions. When we write it, it's spin or success or failure, only two outcomes, probability of success constant, 
in the pending trials and the number of trials fixed. Spin or snip, both fine. Um, for me, for me, it's here. Where is here? Okay. Uh, they should put this part yeah they can really put this part inside here uh, inside here uh, that's the stuff binomial distribution next part before normal, we have number, oh, maybe we check number 10 first, geometric distribution. Geometric distribution. Number of trials until success. Number of trials until success. X oh, until success. Well, what would the meaning are? For this one, you still have only success or failure. Probability of success is constant. You still independent. But there's no fixed number of trials. Okay, ah, uh, not a fixed number of trials. For example, x equals five means fail, 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 success. X bigger than five means fail, fail fail, fail, fail. The first five all fail, all failures. That means the number you need to a success is bigger than five. For geometric distribution, the formula, huh? Q4. Px bigger than five, just same as Q5. All for geometric distribution, expected value, one over P. Guys, copy down this part. Copy on this guys. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. So that's distribution, ah. Huh? If we have x bigger than equal to five, that means for geometric here, it's the same as x bigger than four. Yeah, copy down this. So we got three cases. Yo, that's this one. Oh. But if less than five, that means P Q P Q square P Q three P. X could be one, two, three, four. X less than equal to five. P Q P. Q three P, Q four P. I said, ah. <coughs> okay. Yeah, that's a um, geometric distribution. Okay, okay. <clears throat> no, for binomial approximated binomial. Oh yeah, someone asked. Uh, um, this one is actually same as. One minus x equals one, two, three, four, five. This is same as same as one minus x equals one, two, three, four. Okay. Ah, oh. because for geometric. We have a formula here. The probability x equals k, just q, k minus one times p. And this k need bigger than equal to one. K bigger than equal to one. Or you can say k equals one, two, three, four. A. Hmm. 
Hope it's on, guys, because during final revision, when you try to pass papers, you might need all the knowledge here. Okay, <clears throat> so that's a geometric. For binomial different, binomial x could be zero. X could be zero uh, for binomial, like uh, for the previous page. For binomial, x could be zero. That's like x less than equal to two, like here. Uh. So for, bi for binomial, this x could be 0, 1, 2, up to n. Okay. Ah. Hey, for normal. For normal, ah, you always need to learn standardized. Standardization, oh, check table. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> okay. Ah. Uh. So that's a normal distribution, and we have another one. Binomial two normal. That's called the continuity correction here. Yeah, the condition like bigger than five, bigger than five. Ah. Uh. Bigger than six. Correct. Bigger than equal to six, correct. Yeah, for this one, you can really just think about here. We got here on. Huh? This means six, actually. The whole thing means six. The whole thing means seven. The whole thing means five. So if you need a bigger than six, this part means bigger than six. So you need a bigger than 6.5. This part means less than six. More. This part means bigger than equal to six. This part means less than equal to six. Less than six or equal to six. Equal to six, 
we need up to 6.5. <clears throat> this is called the continuity correction. Continuity correction. Okay. Oh, uh, that's all the knowledge. Oh, that's all the knowledge. We need to check one question. Because here we have some idea based on this. Idea based on this. Like the standard deviation or variance is the same. So the spread is the same. And the center different. So you sketch like this. Uh. Okay, yeah, we will finish like go over all the knowledge. Uh. For the checking table, those stuff, we have typical cases. Uh. You can check it. Yeah. Now, 